Tatiana again. So today I'm actually going to film my first tutorial video. Um, today I'm going to do a look on my leg that you can put on any kind of part of your body that you would like. I'm just going to do it on my leg um, and kind of show you guys since it's easier to, for me to film that part of my body and kind of show you guys how to do it. So what I'm going to do is the scissors coming out of my leg look to kind of teach you guys this and this is very simple that any of you guys can kind of learn and catch on to do it with a few things you can find around your house or things you can find like at the drugstore like Walmart and um, so it's gonna be a very affordable and easy makeup look to do on a scale of 1 to 10 I would rate this makeup look about a um, about a four about a three for a person who doesn't do special effects makeup so we're gonna get right into it and you probably won't see much of my face but um we're just gonna get right into the look see you guys okay so now I'm back and I have the part of my body that I'm going to put this on but of course you can put this anywhere you want it to go um what I'm using is this is the first thing that you're gonna need for your look and this is um Mayron's liquid latex but you can use any brand like this right here is liquid latex that I got got off of Amazon for nine basically ten bucks but it's a whole pint and it'll last you a pretty long time but also if you're just doing a makeup look like one time you can get it from Walmart you can get like a little pack for like two dollars so, um, also I'm just using this reusable silicone sponge so I can rip off the liquid latex because once it dries, you're able to just peel it off like glue. So now I'm just going to put the liquid latex kinda in the rough shape of my wound that I'm going to be making. And I'm just going to go ahead and follow it by a layer of toilet paper and if your toilet paper is two ply you can tear it apart and then um it just kind of makes it easier or you can leave it whole and then also what I didn't do in this first step <clears throat> you want to make sure your edges aren't so straight but since I layered it so much my edges definitely weren't straight because it looks more or organic and natural if you don't have like uh, straight square rectangles as your wound so you're just going to go ahead and keep layering the liquid latex and toilet paper and then once you have that all done you're going to dry it so i'm just going to go ahead and fast forward the next little bit of me just layering liquid latex then toilet paper liquid latex then toilet paper and just repeat that until you have a good bit of thickness because we're going to be cutting into this So now I'm in my final layers, and once I finish this, I'm going to blow dry it. You could let it air dry. Um, you just want to let it dry until it turns into kind of a yellowish color. Okay, so now that it's dried, it's a bit sticky, but you can tell it's dry because it's not like soft and mushy anymore. And um, it's like a yellow color when it's dry. So I'm going to go ahead. This is just like a wet and wild powder. You can use any type of powder. And be careful and don't use brushes you like because it can mess with the bristles. But what I'm going to do is go ahead and powder this so it's not sticky and also so you can get that shine away from it. So I'm just going to go ahead and generously powder the entire thing. For this step, you could also use baby powder, foundation powders, whatever powder you have. 
Um, I'm literally just using like a wet and wild like makeup powder. So when you powder it, it'll look like that, it'll be kind of soft. And the next step you want to do is you want to color it, um, put foundation on it to kind of match the skin. And of course, we're going to color it with like um, bruised colors, reds, and stuff like that. But um, I just have this foundation. You want to kind of use a full found full coverage foundation, a liquid one. Um, I just have this literally like makeup old one you don't want to use your expensive stuff because of course you're going to need a lot of it and you are going to waste it but that one is actually empty so i'm just going to use this elf concealer palette to try to cover up and it doesn't have to be an exact match of your skin but as close as you can get it also if you wanted to and try to really make it match your skin but it doesn't matter for this type of look. Um, you could actually color correct it first. So I'm just going to go ahead and use this liquid foundation too. And that seems like kind of a lot. But hey, it will be alright. So as you see, I'm just kind of covering the entire thing. It might look a little crazy. And these... Um, silicone sponges I'm using is actually the first time I'm using them, but usually I use like Dollar Tree, like throw away the little cheapy sponges, but these ones are washable and eco-friendly and also, um, I feel easier to use, so I think this is what I'm going to start using, and these were $2 off of Amazon, if you guys were wondering. So, we're going to try to make it match our skin as much as we can um this is a little wider than my skin it's looking more wider on the camera but we're gonna make it work so we just color corrected it like so um now i'm going to go ahead and oh I got foundation on my face but I'm going to go ahead and powder it powder it again kind of like you're doing your regular beauty makeup I don't really do that type of makeup but I'm just gonna powder it again and please do not use brushes that you like because there's always the possibility that they will get ruined So, this is one that I literally got from the Dollar Tree, but it's wet and wild. They just had it at the Dollar Tree. So, that's what I'm using. Then, you are going to carefully, I can feel when I'm hitting my skin, but you are going to carefully make a hole. So, I'm just going to start making one right here. Kind of raise the skin. And, please be very careful on this step. I'm just so used to doing this type of makeup, so I just kind of know where it goes and where, um, not where it goes, but I kind of can feel what's the fake skin and what's the real skin, but be careful when you have anything sharp. These are actually quite sharp. They're like eyebrow scissors, so please be careful. So we got that down. Now I'm just going to take this palette. I actually, I might link this down below, but it's from Amazon. It is a cream color palette. I got it for 17 bucks, but you can get it cheaper depending on what seller on Amazon you get it from. It's a really good palette. Um, also, a dupe for this, or if you're just doing this makeup look for Halloween or something, at Walmart they have a, um, it's a little stack of, um, paints and it's called Distressed Wheel or something like that. Um, I'll try to link that too. And it's only four dollars, and you'll have all the colors that you need for this look in there. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna take just a brush that looks like this, 
And I'm going to go ahead and take my um, deeper kind of red color right here to go inside the wound because you want the darker, darkest colors kind of in there. Anywhere that you can kind of see in there, I'm going to go ahead and put that deep color in there. Um, so I have that, and then I'm going to take more of a bright traditional red and put that into the wound. And this will all come to life with um, blood and stuff. Then I'm going to go ahead and take an eyeshadow palette that I have. Um, and these are literally just from palette these are regular eyeshadows another thing that could be a dupe for this paint palette is I have just a L'Oreal lip palette that I got from Walmart got the same colors kind of and you could use lipsticks so that's another option for you guys that do not do special makeup all the time just any type of makeup can kind of really work. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to take another brush I really don't care about. Got it from the Dollar Tree. I'm going to take some pinks, some purples, some blues. But you want to make sure they're all matte and there's no sparkles because honestly, girl, that or boy, that's not going to look real. So I'm um, just going to kind of take those and of course you're going to have irritation if you have some type of look like this so I'm just going to go ahead and dab some of those colors everywhere So right here, I just have a sponge that I tore up, and I'm going to take my paints and kind of use the bruisey, purple, reds, different types of tones, mix them, and you want that textured sponge to kind of break up the colors and kind of make irritation on your wound. Because if someone was to stab you in the legs, you would have red and weird looking skin around that area. <clears throat> and then... um Gonna deepen up the holes, make them a little darker. Sorry guys, I'm tired, I just woke up. <clears throat> but, you guys, um, I used a different palette. That palette, I got it off of Amazon for $10. Use the bright red out of that color and kind of make it like the blood speckles, but we're gonna add some blood later. Then I'm going to take my thinner brush and do kind of vein work. I'm not sure if a real look would really have vein work, but it makes it look cool. It makes it look more realistic in the end, so we're going to go with it. And then we're just going to go ahead and just keep dabbing, keep blending, and then you want to blend out to the area surrounding your wound. Do not just color your wound. Like the liquid latex piece because it will not look real. You need to have a natural fade into your rest of your body part or your leg. Whatever you're doing it on. And then I use red gel food coloring. $1.75 at Walmart. It's better than that fake blood that you can buy at Walmart for like 99 cents. This and then I'm also going to come out with a blood tutorial so look out for that. But I'm just putting that into the deep parts of the wound. And then I'm going to kind of splatter what's left on my brush around it. Then I'm going to take my stipple sponge, which is like a plasticky sponge that has a whole bunch of holes in it. And I'm going to take that, dip it into the red gel food coloring, <clears throat> and I'm going to put it all over my wound. And this is where it comes to life. This is where it looks real. And on this video, guys, there is no filter. There is nothing. This is literally just with my crappy light that I have in my room. And... No filters on this, and this looks pretty realistic to me. So, this goes to show how simple you guys can make this. It will, didn't take that long, and 
it's super easy and you can do so many cool things with it. Now I'm just taking a stream kind of down. If I had my liquid blood with me, I would have did like a drop and kind of just let it drip. But um, I don't have that yet because I got to make the recipe for it. But that's all. Thoughts. And just trying to kind of creep people out. So this is my final result. As you can see from any angle, this looks very realistic. And um, you can play with it. So I thank you guys for watching and I hope you guys tune in for my next video. Subscribe, like, and comment down below what you want to see next. Thank you guys so much for your support. And I'll see you guys next time.